Charlie Ham puts toe to leather, and we are underway. Travis J will field it in the end zone and take it out to the 15, to the 20, and drop it about the 25. Challenging season in Tallahassee. Wilson looking to scramble on the first play. Here's Travis. Big time Kane using his legs and getting out to midfield. Jordan Travis showing what he can certainly do best. Don't waste any time. This is a design pass to the running back, Jay Sean Corbin, in the flat. That was covered well, but look at the five rushers for Duke. No one is able to contain him, and this is something that Travis back after missing a couple games, uh, and so he's excited about what these guys have in their tank on this game. Jay Sean Corbin on the carry, picking up a first down. State, like so many teams, playing a very young offensive line. We'll get into that throughout the course of the game. Right now, the Knowles, though, opening up on a very strong drive. Travis keeps it, picks up a nice gain on second down. He'll be close to the first down. Short of that first down line. To Ophelia out of the backfield. Takes a swing pass, has a lot of room to run. Ten. Out of bounds at about the six yard line to be first to go Florida State. Is that they miss, you know, one of those guys is Cam Akers. He was the leading everything guy last year. Now he's playing for uh, the Lawrence to Ophelia. Catch the ball and run out of the backfield. Now the pass and a score for the Knowles. Ja'Kai Douglas on the receiving end and Florida State jumps out early. Play calling by Kenny Dillingham for Florida State consistently using the read option by the quarterback and this time just throws it out to a little bubble he is sporadic too he can have, have a clean game and then he can throw five picks in a game and uh let's let's all hope this one's clean give to Deion jackson nowhere to go he gets dropped in the backfield yeah, this duke offensive line a lot of guys changed up but i mean this is this is aggressive play up front up top in the slot uncovered wide receiver looks like jalen calhoun Knowles reaches four. Tough pass over the middle. Came about six on first down. Travis looking to do it himself. Nothing doing this time as Duke swarms the football. Drops him for a, about a one-yard loss. These teams have a bunch of first-year players making impacts for them. Now the Knowles trying to convert a third down. Quick pass from Travis out to flat. Can his receiver make players miss? He does. And it'll be enough for a first down. Third and 12 now for the Knowles. That's McDonald in motion. Travis moving the pocket. As a receiver, brought down the shy of the first down is Ontario Wilson. Give us to Corbin. He'll power forward and pick up the first. Travis to give to Douglas. He reverses his field, but nowhere to go as big old Dwayne Carter brings him down for a loss. He scored on that opening drive. A really good job by number 90. Fighting off the backside cut block, making plays with his hands. Making the stop, second down and 13. His communication due defensively. Travis going deep as a receiver inside the five. Travis to Wilson. Yeah, look at number 29, Nate Thompson. He's the safety. He's supposed to be back in the post. He, a little confused, comes down on the play and just leaves Leonard Johnson on an island at the top of the screen. The only reason that anyone else was near there is because of the route combination. But, you know, this is another a miscommunication. They're, they're thin at that second level, that third level. Kenny Dillingham and Mike Norvell going into the bag of tricks a little bit here. Corbin. That blocker in front of him, trying to get to the goal line, spins, and he's in. Initially stopped, but he was able to use that spin move. Move the ball across the goal line, two yards, and the score early. Yeah, watch this second effort. You see the downhill contact right there. And that's Shaka Hayward with the big hit, but Corbin's able to spin out of it and extend the ball over the goal line for the touchdown. And once again, off the short field, haven't had much challenge yet. Duke hasn't been able to throw the ball downfield. Bryce now trying to get downfield. Ball tipped and intercepted. That's Nasrudin looking for blockers inside the 20. 
brought down at the 14. Plus tackles last year, is injured for a lot of this one, but he has come back last week. Really opportunistic off the tip ball, and that's been kind of the trend for Duke. You know, it's been tips, it's been overthrows, it's been, you know, timing routes off. And the pressure up front, you know, Eric Wood just talked about, hey, look, we know we're up for the challenge on that offensive line. Well, you got to protect your quarterback. Chase Price has been hit a lot this year, and some of those hits result in interceptions like that. And as a team, as far as turnovers go, the 36th turnover. Corbin's going to turn it into points. This touchdown is under review. Let's take another look at the replay. I guess they're looking to see if Corbin's, one of Corbin's knees were, were down before that ball crossed the plane. Looks like a score to me. Still showing pressure. They bring just four. They drop back. This time Calhoun on the completion. He's close to that first down marker. Let's see where they spot him. Right at it. Travis J forced him out of bounds, but they're going to give him the first down. Goals again show pressure. They bring just four. So Bryce has time, but he just can't connect with the receiver. Tried to hit Dennis Smith, but he was covered well on the play by Jarvis Brownlee. Now they have more penalty yards than total offense. Keyshawn Helm to return this kick. Fair catch. Makes it at his own 34. That's where the nose will take over. with the defense picked up some good yards. Empty backfield now for the Knowles on first down. Travis going deep. Good coverage that time on the play by Jeremiah Lewis. Are multi-talented in order for this program to move forward. Travis sidesteps the rush. Now on the run. Throws it complete. Portier on the receiving end, and that'll be a first down. The Jordan Travis, again, look at Demo Cage on the outside, number 51. Really good bull rush. But I thought, when Jordan Travis looked at the sideline, I said, oh, man, he's just throwing the ball away. I mean, maybe they have him in Jordan Travis. Certainly looks the part today. Now a big run up the middle for the Knowles, and a score. Trayshawn Ward. The redshirt freshman with his first touchdown as a member of the Florida State Seminoles. Watch this tackle pull. That's number 52, Robert Scott, another true freshman. He's going to pull around. Tight end's going to cut off and just leads the way. I mean, there are massive running lanes. I mean, there was a sense of lack of effort in that game by Duke, and that's what Dave Cutcliffe has to fight against, the lack of effort by the majority of his team. Good effort here by Billion Johnson on the return, getting the ball close to midfield. By far the best starting field position for the Blue Devils today. Durant with a quick pitch. Has some room to run. Lowers his shoulder and gets about 10 yards. He's playing his first series right now. He's a little banged up. They weren't sure if they were going to play him or not, but they need him, his leadership. And his blocking and his pass catching just like that on the field for this Duke offense. Throw the ball to him. He's a guy who can, he can make plays. And he's one of the few guys who can really make plays in this Duke offense. Bryce on the move. Has a receiver down the middle. And it's a score. Eli Pankhole puts the Blue Devils on the board. After attention from the safeties. Leaned his way. And number six just streaked down the field. Really good throw. On the move, working to his left, over top the defender. Eli Pankel with good concentration. It seems like every team has a dynamic tight end. High scoring first quarter, still a minute. Travis, there's his tight end. Got blockers in front of him. And McDonald, it's a nice pickup on first down. With his teammates, that's good to see. Fumble on the play. Duke thinks they have it, and they do. So a big play defensively for the Blue Devils. Again, watch. Watch over top of this play. 
Right here, 33, comes in, makes a tackle. And Marquise Waters right there, wants to pick it up and score a touchdown. Just fall on a young fella, but good job by Nate Thompson to come up with that football. And you're, you're giving life to this Duke football team with plays like that. Turnovers can swing the entire momentum. And Chris, you mentioned it, off the back of that touchdown drive, now getting the ball. Durant cuts it back inside, converts the first down. And this guy's got a future in the NFL. I, I, the last thing I want is to get him hurt in this game. Pressure on the edge. Bryce throws it up. Longini almost makes the catch, but it's intercepted. Looks like it came out a little bit funny from Chase Bryce's hands. You got out there. But right here, there's more Weedy. And then the ball just flicks back into a falling down Brandon Gant. How about this guy, Brandon Gant, too? You know, he's once a third string safety. He's playing now. He's also on all the kickoff teams. The punt teams made a tackle. Duke shows pressure. They bring it. Travis stuck in the backfield. Eludes it. Now that ball is hanging out loose, but he's having a big time run here. Still on his feet. Gets it out beyond the 30. Please secure the football, but a great run. Cannot coach that. You have two, two Duke defenders off that edge. He makes them both miss and then weaves his way all the way back downfield. Good job picking up a ton of yards, 24 to be exact. Tough handoff here, broken play. And Travis can't get back to the line of scrimmage. An opportunity to make good on that. Duke brings just three, but they're getting pressure on Travis, who has to roll the pocket. And he throws an interception. And Jordan Travis rolling to the sideline, thinks he's got a guy and just doesn't, doesn't place it well enough. Good job. And Nate Thompson, let's see if he controls the ball all the way through the ground. It looks like he does, gets the arm underneath the football. It still moves around, but I don't think the ball ever hits the ground. Mark, as well as Jordan Travis scrambles back there, when you roll a quarterback out like that to the right. Durant, you told. Midfield. One man to beat. Inside the 10, and Durant will score. <laughs> Great run by Durant. Great job on this play. Big gap open up, and you see the speed by Mateo Durant, putting his team within two scores of the lead. Travis, flushed, flagged out. Linemen are in tight with that little run. Jackson, just enough to pick up the first. Before I snap it, I want you to suck up and pursue, and that's when we burn you. <laughs> Jackson on the quick toss has to reverse his field in a lot of trouble. He's going to go down in the backfield. Staying steady and consistent really helped out, especially in this game. Bobo, the intended receiver, incomplete, but a flag down. For Mateo Durand, I mean, that works in Duke's favor. Quarterback draw. Chase Price picks up a first down and more. Into a little bit of a rhythm here for Duke despite two interceptions himself. But a big third down here for midfield. Durant, a lot of room to run up the middle. Inside the 30, still on his feet inside the 20 and spins down at the 12-yard line. A huge pickup again for Mateo Durant. Uh, but for one play, Noah Gray checks back in the field in that huge run. But I, really credit to Duke's offensive line. I mean, they, they have just not been efficient this entire season. Big plays, but Deion Jackson with over 2,000 career rushing yards. He's seventh in school history. Bryce to the goal line. His entire body seemed like it was in the end zone, but the football was not. 12th play of this drive. It started on their own 15. Jackson to the goal line, a big scrub, and he doesn't get it. They'll mark him just shy. And now they give him the score. Jackson takes the handoff and gets right to the goal line. 
not sure if you can see anything in this. Yeah, it looks like his knees are kind of resting on the back of his offensive lineman. Tough to say for progress. And then he takes the football. Stopped. Yeah. Yeah, he takes the football and puts it over the goal line. If you can keep a close eye on it here, no whistle yet, no whistle yet. There, there it is, football. right there. <laughs> you had Nashville team poking at it. That was kind of dangerous with no whistle. You thought the whistle might have blown for a forward progress stop. There's the ball coming up. And the official on the far end sees it. No joke for the Seminole offense right now. They have stalled third and eight. Travis is going to get brought down. That pressure finally gets to him, and that is Drew Jordan, who brings down the okay. Florida State quarterback. First sack of the day. You drop everybody back out and just really good job with your hands. Working on Darius Washington on the outside, throws him to the ground. Gets him on the heels, retraces his steps, makes the sack, tries to strip the ball. That and with a three-man rush like that, you know they're going to go to Demu Keiji's side with the slide with the offensive line. So Drew Jordan knew he was going to get one-on-one -on -one there. Robertson now reverses his field, going the other way. And he's just hopefully going to get back to where he caught the football. Duke is in position to tie this one up for the touchdown on this drive. Durant. Loose tacklers in the backfield. Nice run by Durant. Darian Jones finally brought him down, but another first down for Duke. No one's covering him man to man. Knowles looks like they want to bring the house. Now they back off. They bring five. There's Gray, and he's close to the first down. I think he's going to be marked a little bit shy. They're going to mark him almost two yards shy. Deion Jackson in the backfield with Chase Bryce. Florida State looking like they're coming with pressure, and they are. Jackson. Gets belted, stays on his feet. Let's see where they give him forward progress. That's going to be a huge spot. Blocking and affecting the Florida State defense. Fresh set of downs now for Chase Bryce going through the air. With the double coverage, and that's going to be intercepted. Flags down. We got to check the flags. Just going to take a knee here. Knowles with no timeouts left, so this will run the clock in the first half. One points. Unanswered makes him feel good right now. Florida State looks like they want to bring pressure. Bryce now, can he get a gun with his legs? Gets hit hard at the marker. Ball comes out. Florida State recovered the fumble. Let's see how the officials spot it. It's a yeah, fumble they, they, and recovered by the Knowles. Down as well. Take a look at the end of this play. Rolling out to his left. Oh my goodness. Big number 44, Brandon Gant right into it. Gant today, here is a TFL, an interception, and a forced fumble in this game. Travis gets loose. He'll score. As uh, we've seen like all that. game long. Yeah, Mark, every, it seems every turnover in this game leads to points the other direction. This time it was a pull read. Yeah, they're just reading number 86 on the defense. I like it. He's not going <laughs> to like that play. His son just dropped for a loss. Backfield. I'll tell you what, that information is, is via our sideline extraordinaire yeah. reporter. Duke looking like they want to bring pressure. Big hole up the middle for Toa Feely. He's very solid when it comes to that run game inside. Quick dump off. Corbin making players miss. Still on his feet. Close to a first down. I think he got there. Mark right at the stick. Quarterback read. If not, he's at the other side. Then you know, there's no there's no read fake. Tofili makes another man miss. Stays in bounds. Takes a hit. Falls forward for a couple of more yards. Wildcat right there. Yep. Got a big block in front of him. Gets to the end zone and scores. Jayshon Corbin, second touchdown of the day, extends the Knowles lead. It's about the leadership on this team. They said, yeah. Jayshon Corbin hasn't been here for that long, but he has assumed. Third and five. Diamon. Can he get there with his legs? He does. 
Seven point game at the half. Seminoles have scored 14 unanswered here in the second. Diamond backpedaling, throws it up for grabs, and it's intercepted. Just running into traffic. Well, there's Jake Bobo right there on a little stop route. Sorry, it was Marweedy coming across the field. Wow, what a one handed, one -handed catch. I didn't even see that on the initial one. Hey, yo, give me that. Bowles have converted the first three into 14 points. Start this drive inside Duke territory. Corbin on the Wildcat. He'll pick up a first down. Needing one sack to set the all time record. Hasn't gotten there yet. Travis. Using that speed to get to the edge. Third down and six for the Knowles. Travis keeps it. Cuts it back inside. Still on his feet and reaches the ball forward, but he'll be shy of the first down. I remember the first coach told me that. I said, well, <laughs> look good, play good. <laughs> Parker Grothaus misses on the field goal try. Third and three for the Blue Devils. Mateo Durant now in motion out of the backfield. Diamond trying to get there on his own. And it looks like he's going to be just a little bit shy. There it is again. Quarterback speed. Fourth and one. The officials marking it right on the 30. Well, especially if you just converted to center a little over a month ago. Well, now it's third and 22. Look for Diamond to on his own. Not nearly enough to move the chains. With this offense, playing a lot of scout team in practice and throwing it into the fire, first floor of state. Helton with an opportunity to return this kick. Gets past the first wave, not the second. Records being broken in that North Carolina-Miami game, too. You're going to want to hear all about that. Wide open! And another score for Ja'Kai Douglas. Got Marquise Waters, number zero, biting on the little pitch fake. Ja'Kai Douglas just ran right past him. No one. Back deep. A little bit of momentum heading into the spring in this offseason. That's a good point. Demon here trying to get a first down and does and slides inside the 30. And the younger players, the underclassmen, it's all about those months that are really going to make a difference for this team in the long run. Jackson's going to throw to the end zone, has a receiver, underthrows his man, but Smith was able to come back and make the catch for the score. Wow. Smith's first touchdown of the year. Yeah. Puts the ball out in front. Nice touchdown. Be worn out at this point. They could use a drive here by this offense just to get a breather. Demon showing some nifty footwork. We've seen that a little bit from him as he gets a big gainer inside Florida State territory. Good job spreading him out. Really good block on the inside by Recavius Chambers. Ranked team in the country. Tofili could be gone. <laughs> They won't catch him. Another huge play and one play drive for the Knowles. 73 yards for the true freshman from St. Petersburg. Man, we, we were excited last year about the running back talent in the ACC. A.J. Dillon, Cam Akers. But, I mean, this year might be even better. Ponte Williams. Lead them back to where Florida State's used to being. On third, Nate Durant forced wide, and he'll get dropped for a big loss been as consistent as they would like this year they haven't been able to really cause as many sacks and turnovers as they're used to doing either fair catch by Travis Jay at his own 32 Rodemaker in a quarterback now for Florida State got a little bit of play in time when Jordan Travis was hurt another big run for the Knowles Ray Sean Ward had a touchdown run in the first half. Breaks off another big game for Florida State. 28 yards, 100 yards on the night. How I mean, about Trey Sean Ward? He's got his first carry of the game was for 26 yards and a touchdown. This one was for 28 yards. Right now, a Power 5 program because he has such big ties and roots in that Cincinnati area in Ohio. Eric, as I know you're familiar with, would be a better decision for him. Yeah, right. It's a good point.
So ingrained in that culture in Ohio. Didn't get it. Instead, it's a nice play call. Got it out to Ward on the screen. There, 90 yards on the ground. Duke's able to pick up a first down. Flag, late flag on the play. Is Run the ball for right around 200 yards a game last year at Auburn. Over 200 at Memphis. And then the passing game, both under 300 yards. This isn't an air raid system. Really good play from really good players. But it's the consistency that Norvell points to as just... Look, we have not been able to do it consistently quarter in and quarter out. Even this game, we're really lopsided in that second quarter, but bounced back and that was a, that was a good completion. Defense, that, that is something that really needs to be fixed in this offseason. Diamond, tight end over the middle, gonna get it inside the five. It'll be first and goal for the Blue Devils. Second down and goal for the Blue Devils. Carlin gets the push, and he scores. Well, how about that? Daniel Carlin, a senior out of Providence, Rhode Island. Good push by that surge by that off. Yeah, he's not gonna make that mistake again. His team and all the FBS, and some of these guys got big futures ahead of them. Yeah, Robert Scott started at right tackle for you, true freshman. And the clock runs out. Big win by Mike Norvell in Florida State.